thank you all for coming, especially those of you who have children and it's a school night. I know that's challenging with homework and all. Um, I am a child life specialist. I am a certified child life specialist. I have an undergraduate degree in counseling. Um, but I'm very clear with the patients with whom I work that I'm a patient educator. I'm not a licensed therapist. Um, although so much of what I do is therapeutic, you know, there, there's some back and forth. Um, but my work is to work with parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whoever our patient and their family members are, and when possible to work directly with children. And the goal being to facilitate communication within the family and to help children understand quite simply what is a brain tumor. Ask that question and you'll get some really interesting answers from your kids if you haven't asked them already. Um, and then to talk about treatments, um, changes that take place in family routines, life is not normal anymore, um, those types of things. Most of our families come from across the country and even other countries. So I do the majority of my work with adults. Actually, probably 90 to 95 percent of my work is with adults providing support and information that they can then, I hope, filter down to their children. Um, probably 5 to 10 percent of my work is actually with kids directly doing psychoeducational activities, which means using toys and art activities to actually teach them about brain tumors and changes that take place in a way that's fun. And I would say hopefully, but it appears to be definitely non-threatening so that kids are open to, to learning more about their family member's illness. Um, I've been at Duke since 1984. I worked my first 11 years in pediatrics with kids of all ages and all injuries, illnesses, anything that could bring a child to a hospital. Um, that's where I met them and how I helped them. In 96, I joined the Brain Tumor Center, and for a few years, I straddled our pediatric and adult program. Then in 2003, we were big enough that we had to change how we were um, working with patients. And so my coworker, who's a child life specialist, she stayed with the pediatric team, and I now work exclusively with our adult program um, with all of our patients around the needs of children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews. I think that's one thing that is unique and, and I would encourage um, folks here to strive for is it's not do you have children under the age of 18 in your home, it's do you have children in your life who are impacted by this illness. It might be young children, it might be teenagers, it might be grandchildren or your godchild, or it might be the little boy next door who loves to hang out at your house um, because you've got cool tools and <laughs> you do woodworking or something. So, um, so I get to meet each family and let them tell me what their needs are. And so that means sometimes my visit with a family is five minutes long and sometimes it's an hour and 15 minutes because it's all based on what the needs of that family happen to be.